I was reading today in Jack Kornfield's book, The Wise Heart, a chapter called From Delusion to Wisdom. Great book on Buddhist psychology, if you'd like a good read. Very insightful and inspirational. But he was talking about that we generally are not in reality a majority of the time. That we walk through our day just touching it a little here, a little there, but operating way more from a place of delusion in our lives and in all our relationships with people and places and things. He was pointing out that the Buddha, at his point of enlightenment, wrote his very first poem about how he saw delusion for what it was. The Buddha writes, this is right after his point of enlightenment, O house builder, thou art seen at last. The ridge pole is broken, the rafters are shattered. No more shall you build this house of sorrow. Buddha came to a point of complete freedom, mainly because he rooted himself 100% in what was. But it got me to thinking, what was it that led all the way up to that point for the Buddha? What was the spark within him? What was the belief that kept him sitting without pause under that Bodhi tree until he reached enlightenment? I mean, his level of determination and courage and strength are amazing if you think about it. We have the fruit of him sitting under that Bodhi tree, but what was it that kept him there through all the different shadows within himself that he had to face? And that's my question to you today. What's your belief that gives you spark and determination? What's your belief that gives you courage and openness? What is it that propels you forward in your life? What inspires you? Name that belief, if you will. There's great strength and insight to be had from it, to recognize what it is that gives wind underneath your wings. There is a scripture quote in the New Testament that captures it for me. It's in Romans chapter 5, verse 5. In this book, the sentence reads, and hope will not leave us disappointed. For the love of God has been poured forth in our hearts by the Spirit given us. That gives me tremendous courage. It resonates with me, I can feel it. I can feel that at my core, there is the Spirit operating. And it's come forth because I've been loved into existence. That there is a love in which I live and move and have my being gives me courage, gives me strength, gives me wind beneath my wings. What's the wind beneath your wings?